Yo, what is up, beautiful people? Welcome back to a brand new video. This is going to be the episode 2 of the hardest challenge in old school RuneScape, where we try our best to complete just about every single thing when it comes to collection log. Now, if you don't know what collection log is, this is the log that basically logs all of the boss kills that you do and well all of the rare drops that you get while killing those specific bosses you also have clues mini games all sorts all sorts of different things and the idea is to complete everything however in the last episode a lot of you guys pointed out that i will probably never complete all of the third age pieces which is completely normal if we go under the clue scrolls and we go under the shared treasure trail rewards actually under the hard ones, uh, all of the gilded, all of the third age, it is basically impossible to get. Everyone knows that. Uh, I, In my lifetime, I will probably never get all of this. So we're changing the rules around a little bit. When it comes to the rare clue scroll drop table, I want to get at least one third age drop. But obviously, the series will be so long, I have to get all the pets, all that sort of things. So this is very, very long down the road but just wanted to address that as a lot of the comments in my last video were about the third age i'm very well aware and we can tweak the rules just a little bit with all that being said though if you missed the episode number one check it out and uh, if you want to support the series give it a like because that way you help me get into the recommended that's a long ass intro i'm never doing that again let's jump into the clips Whoa, 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 hold up a second. We got ourselves a broken dragon hasta. I have absolutely no idea what this is, but I'm very well aware that this is new. It says that I can sell it for 120k, it has to be more. Alright, let's try to hit up Grand Exchange and see how much we can sell this bad boy for. I got 380k for it. I mean, I'll take it. I mean, it's a dragon hasta, right? It's worse than Zami hasta, for example, so... I mean... All right, that's fine by me. I thought, I mean, I didn't know how much to expect. I'm going to be completely honest. We're just going to return and uh, do some more. Another superior. Let's see what we get in this one. There we go. 3000 experience for the totem base. We got ourselves another one. Let's see if we can get something from this one then. And there we go. What do we get in this one? We get the dark totem middle. Alright, the third one of the task, getting pretty lucky with superiors. Since I already got the heart, I guess what we want from here is now Eternal Gem, which is very interesting. If I actually do get Eternal Gem at some point in this series, I will just make a ring, I think. Um, because, well, the ring is just nice, you know, it never runs out of charges, it's beautiful, so that's what we want. Uh, outside of that, what else could I get from superiors? I think I already got a Dust Battle Staff. But I haven't gotten a missed battle staff yet. I guess I'll check collection log after this task if I don't forget. Um, but yeah, let's see what we get from this one. There we go, let's see what we get. And we just get a dark totem base, which is perfectly fine. I also received 75 dragon arrow tips as a rare drop Konar table. So, not bad. Task is completed. And at the moment, I am just working on kind of getting 99 Slayer. And in the process, hoping for some uh, boss tasks. But Adamant Dragons, uh, we will do those, because that is a very, very quick task to do. I haven't really touched on that a lot, but we start off with the bank value of just a little bit over 1 bill. The Stibo is lent to me from my good friend Michael, though. And at the moment, I'm working on receiving about 350 mil, so I can buy a Rapier. That's going to be my next gear upgrade. And then after that, we will be going for Twisted Bow one for basically ourselves um but yeah just wanted to showcase what i'm currently working on when it comes to slayer moving on swiftly for some cal fight in cal fight layer that means i can kill cal fight boss that should be a lot of fun i have tebow on my disposal i'm just not sure if tebow is great for cal fight i guess i'll give it a shot but before I go on with Calfight Queen, we're gonna get ourselves 91 Thieving. We now have a very good reason to do so, and that is to unlock Elite Achievement Diary in Desert, which will shorten the trips to Calfight Queen by a solid minute or two every single time. And since KQ is the type of boss where you literally have to bank almost after every kill or after every two kills, this is something I have to do. I'm 90 Thieving at the moment, we're gonna get uh, one more level. Uh, but here, here is the twist. 
if we take a look at the collection log, I'm pretty sure we should have something here called Pyramid Plunder. Um, oh, there it is. Finally found it. Took me a lot of time to search for, but here it is. Pharaoh Scepter. Pharaoh Scepter. I don't know how you say that. And um, that is only obtained through Pyramid Plunder. So I think I'll do Pyramid Plunder until 91 thieving. Maybe we get lucky and we get a Scepter as well. If you are unfamiliar with this minigame, you can actually get Pharaoh Scepter from either this or Sarcophagus. Uh, now, I'm probably only going to be opening the middle, uh, uh, middle ones because Sarcophagus actually have a animation and it slows down the thieving experience. So my priority is still thieving experience over gaining um, Pharaoh's Scepter. Uh, but uh, what I want to do in here is you just want to loot the chest in the middle, as I said, and then go all the way until you can do last two floors. Uh, those floors will give you the most experience. For me, that's going to be floor 6 and 7 because I cannot access floor 8 yet. Oh, and if you were wondering about the chances, it is 1 in a 1000 from open golden chests or sarcophagus. So if you do both, one in yeah, basically 1 in a 1000. Oh my god, yes! You guys don't realize, hold up, first things first, this is all scuffed because I, when I do this, I play on this, but guys, my Iron Man just received, I don't know when, I just now realized, a pet. We just got ourselves the Rift Guardian, yes! Look, you have a funny feeling you're being followed, this is the pet I have always wanted. Look at it, it is so beautiful! This is the coolest looking pet in the game. Can I give it soul runes? Oh, no, it's already blue. Oh, it's so beautiful. I am so happy. Oh, my God. Yes, I'm uh, currently almost 92 rune crafting on the Iron Man, in case you were wondering. Oh, my God, that is awesome. I am very well aware that this is a mains video and not my Iron Man's video, but either way, man, this is so exciting and so rare when you get those pets that I just want to ensure it right now, and uh, we're gonna check how many pets I have on my Iron Man, uh, but look at it, it is honestly beautiful, I'm so happy, I've always wanted it, it is probably one of the nicest killing pets, the farming one is also really nice in my opinion. Uh, we are going to use our boy here on her and we're gonna pay 500 coins to ensure this bad boy. And if we check, we now have a heron, a giant squirrel, rift guardian and a rocky. So four skilling pets already on the Iron Man. Not bad at all. I'm very happy right now. Alright, so here is the deal. We are currently closing out on the final, I mean on the 91 thieving. Um... It didn't take that long, a couple of hours of just pyramid plunder grinding, unfortunately did not end up getting a scepter, which is perfectly fine, and we are now going to go ahead and complete the elite task diary, um, so all I really have to do is search the chest in the last room of the pyramid plunder. After that we finish all the uh, desert diaries and then we can kill Calphite Queen pretty efficiently and hope for some unique drops that we still did not get. Um, but there you go, here we open this one, we find another pick lock, and we get into the final room and see what we get there. But uh, I, I really like Pyramid Plunder, when I'm not AFKing, thieving, you can you can still AFK, by the way, uh, if you bind two of your keys, one being left click and one being your inventory, and you put, I, I'll have to show it in a different clip, but uh, there it is, this should be an Elite Diary completed, that's why we grinded this four. You know what, since I'm an efficient gamer, I will now do the full room of the 825 XP pots, and then we're gonna move on and do more Slayer. Paying 50,000 to have my KQ head stuffed, and now let's put it in the bank real quick. I mean, in the house. Here we go, we build the head, we made the KQ head, we build it, we talk to it, and uh, you do not scare me. And there we go, that's one part, let's go bake some wild pies, make some dart tips, and we're good, we're done. So, really happy. And for the last task, we just have to bake this wild pie, and we should be done with another elite tasks. There we go, that's why we grinded all of that for, why not just do both, and I think the fastest way to reach the man is to actually just go into the Alka Reed. Um, so, we're gonna get ourselves some uh, free runecrafting experience real quick. 
and then we're gonna kill some Calphite Queen, or we might finish some other uh, achievement diaries. I'm not exactly sure right now. I think Calphite Queen should be the way to go. Um, but I'm very happy with how uh, how today's going, man. Here we go, speaking to Mr. Jar over here, and we get an, uh, a reward. I always like to go for at least three of the items. And we're gonna rub this one and get some free 50,000 rune crafting experience. Awesome. Um, and also, I can now put ropes for Calphite, and uh, I will never need the ropes again, which is awesome. So, uh, yeah, let's just gear up and do some Calphite. Wines of Zami, that's a beautiful drop. Okay, so I guess here are the things we're missing from Calphite Queen. We got a Dragon Chain Body and Cake You Had already. So, Dragon Two Hander, Jar of Sand, and the Princess. So, not necessarily the boss that has a lot of unique drops. So, very rare chance of dropping on this. I'll be happy if I drop on Dragon Two Hander in this task, let's say. We are about to get a rune crafting level on the Iron Man. These levels are pretty far between each other, so 92, there it is, 7 more levels to go. And god damn, that's a lot of XP to a level. Oh man, I've, I hate rune crafting, but we're pushing it, especially on the Iron Man. That's why we're doing all the other stuff on the main right now. Uh, I'm gonna go all the way to 99. So, I didn't actually get anything new from Calfight, and uh, I think I won't really be forcing myself to kill more of it at the moment. Now, hear me out for a second. In Collection Log, if I get a Dragon Two-Hander Sword from any other monster in the game, it will count the same as if I got it from Calfight. Therefore, uh, if I keep killing Calfight, I'm basically only killing it for a Jar and a Pet. And the small little thing I have for myself right now, like in the back of my mind, is I'm not going to force myself to kill a boss that I already have all of the drops for, but I'm only Jar and Pet missing. Uh, I want to focus on that towards the end of the um, series, let's say. Uh, but for now, I just want to focus on completing the majority of it. So I'm most likely not going to be killing Calphite Queen in the future. I'll just focus on other bosses. So I'll skip that task for now. Uh, but as you can see right now, I'm working on just one more smithing level very quickly. 80,000k away. Um, and once I have that, then I'm gonna focus on completing all of the diaries. I just want to have them out of the way. They give decent rewards So there really is no reason for me to not do them. Uh, so that's what I will be doing um, Basically after this smithing level and I think I have all the requirements to complete it If you're wondering why my screen is scuffed like that It is mainly because I just play bigger when I'm uh, uh, when I'm doing blast furnace. I don't play in fixed usually So that's the plan. That's the idea. Uh, let's get this smithing level. Here we go, the last inventory of gold ores. And uh, this is gonna be actually the last thing I plan on doing today. There it is, 90 smithing. We can now make DFSs, which is pretty sick. Um, those are the stats at the ending of this video. In the next episode, we are gonna go ahead and try our best to complete most of the achievement diaries. I know I'll have some issues with certain, such as uh, Kandarin, because I have to do like... Uh, freaking minigame stuffs uh, but either way doesn't matter we're gonna push through it or maybe we're gonna leave it for a later date we really end the episode off with 1.01 bill bank so we lost like what one mil um probably obviously with smithing that's perfectly fine if you ask me i don't mind it myself uh, i'm gonna go ahead and go to bed right now and uh, tomorrow a uh, new day awaits where we're gonna go ahead and do all these sorts of things i'm gonna go up here so i don't lose the time, uh, I mean the money. Uh, but yeah, if you guys did enjoy the video, uh, make sure to give it a rating and also check out my second channel if you're interested in different sorts of gaming content. With all that being said, hopefully you enjoyed and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.